Hello, I'm back again. I've got another idea. My grandsons love Rubik's Cube. So I figured I want to make a Rubik's Cube um, embellishment. That should be easy enough. So I've got a, I'm going to use one inch squares. So I cut this to be three and a quarter. Okay, so a piece of black, three and a quarter. And then I need, I'm going to need nine. So when there's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so one of each color. And then two of a couple. All right, so let's use red. So there's one, two, three, all right, and then let's cut. Might as well do two blue then. There's blue and okay, and then. Orange. I didn't really have the right color orange, but this will work. It's close enough. Orange is orange, right? Okay, so that's going to be 9, 10, so 5, 6, 7, high, maybe two orange ones. And then I need a white, green, and a, and a yellow. White. Yellow. And green. There. That should do it. Alrighty. So we can move these out of the way. Move my cutter out of the way. Move this over here. Okay. And then we just need to glue these on. We need to figure out which way they're going to be glued on. So, let's see. How do I want to do it? Do I want to go ahead and do that? Do orange together. Maybe orange here. And then red over here. And then blue over here. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? I'm not liking that red because it has a line going down it. I guess it's going to have to be. I don't like that. Nope, because that has a line. All right, I'm going to have to do a different red. Let me see what I got here. I didn't like that red. What's this one? Oh, there's a nice size red. Okay. Here. All right, I'll use a piece of this. Woohoo. Yeah, because this has... See how it has that little crack in the middle? So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut two of these. And that'll work. it's so dark. That's really dark. Wow. That's kind of cool. I don't, I don't think I like the colors together. So let's put that over here. This over here. Like that. There. That'll work. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and glue these down. Put those in the corner. Make sure that I do the same amount of space. Okay, and then this red one. Oh, my one grandson was so excited about getting his a, a brand new Rubik's cube for Christmas, and uh, he got a timer 
So he's been timing himself to, he says, you gotta learn your algorithms. And then once you get those down, then you just do it. So he was practicing and practicing and, and he finally got it down to 47 seconds. That's the, the lowest he's gone so far. So he's thrilled with that. Very simple thing to make here. I like that, that's neat. And one left, check it out. That's pretty cool. Huh, what do you think of that? Rubik's Cube. I like that. That is fun. Alrighty, and then we can put that on a card. That would be a neat card. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it just yet, but we could even put this green on or put the yellow on there. That would be pretty cool. Put that on with a little happy birthday or something that would be really cool but I think I would 3d this up that's pretty nifty I like that idea all righty so so I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try pull out your your colors and you saw how quickly and easy it was for me to cut out some one inch squares just cut out one inch strips and then just chop them up so and have at it that's a lot of fun to do Alrighty, so I hope you do like this idea and you'll give it a try. And if you're liking this series of videos, please keep giving me those thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.